a zucchini puffa. This is a sort of Turkish inspired zucchini puffa. There are, of course, other countries that do a sort of similar thing. The most famous one would be the zucchini frittata of Italy. Um, but this one, as I say, is more of a Turkish inspired. Um, just grate some zucchini and some carrot. The carrot just gives it some sweetness. And now whisk an egg and add some salt and pepper in with the grated carrot and courgette or zucchini. Loads of dill here, loads. I love it. Any chance to use it, I will. Add a little bit of leek there. Just because I had leek, you could also do spring onions or just regular onions or just none. Um, there's some feta cheese or just some goat's cheese and some yogurt. In Italy, they would probably use parmesan and ricotta. That would be then the, the difference, really, would be the yogurt and the goat's cheese. There, mix it together a bit and add some baking powder. This is also contentious, really, because that would will add air to it. And it's really up to you how, how light you want it to be. And there, just some flour just to bring it all together, not too much. Mix that all together and then into the pan. Just shaping it there into a little circle and here a slow motion flip. Look at that. Things really look a lot more aggressive in slow motion. I mean, look at the pan just wobbling and here close up slow mo. Wow. Nice golden colour there. And then we go to the plating. I just have a toilet, uh, a kitchen towel there just to get off excess fat. Um, and I do the same with the egg, but keeping it on the spatula, of course. It's just, a, just you know, you just want to get, not have it so greasy. Come on, off you, off you go. And then I just garnish it with a little bit more dill and some sumac, just a wonderful sort of citrusy note from the sumac there and then a little bit more goat's cheese and that's it this is just this is a brilliant dish this really was fantastic thank you so much bye